In this video, I'm going to show you how to collect some resources to answer um, task number one uh, for the second assignment, um, which is about um, how to find news reports about media harm. Um, also, uh, I'm going to be talking about um, using this data resource, which is called Factiva, as a way of gathering information. Um, and you can also use that data source to do the media users or celebrity question as well. Um, but again, the harmful media question really asks you to um, collect a set of news reports about the way that media danger is discussed. And the purpose of this is to address how news media, as an example, uh, create reality around certain sorts of social issues. So the question is, how do media frame what media do? How, does, how do news organisations report how media um, affect social reality? And in this, what we're looking for are particular patterns of the way that the media may or may not describe the relationship between media use and certain kinds of social risks. And then really what we're also asking you to do is to think about how that reality is framed in particular ways, about if we look at academic research, what are some of the other ways that we could frame some of the risks that the media cover? Um, I'll be talking about that a bit more in detail in another presentation, but for now, I just want to show you in very simple terms how you can go about gathering information to discuss this question. Now, of course, the first thing that you could do is use the TV News Online um, archive. And I've made another video that you will know um, that um, has shown how to do that. Um, and that's available on my YouTube channel. But today I wanted to show you the Factiva um, database. Uh, and this is a database that allows you to cover news reports uh, to collect news record reports from all over the world and it's a really useful resource um, for gathering resources that you can then use as the basis for your original research. So let me just show you how I got to this. So we go to My Monash and we go to the library pages. We go to databases. So we click on databases. You click on Arts, then you go over here and you click on communication, and then you click on this Factiva database. So it's the one, two, three, four, fourth one down just underneath communication and mass media complete. And then we enter our username and password. And then we wait for a second. And here we are. So this is the opening um, interface for the Factiva website. And one of the things, uh, so I'm going to do, you, there's a few options here. Um, a lot of people were doing work on representations of bodies and the harm that different representations of bodies can do. Um, so uh, I thought I'd do uh, a search for eating disorders. So we know that there is a problem with um, eating disorders in society, with uh, anorexia nervosa and bulimia and all of these sorts of things and body dysmorphia. Um, and we also know that there's a lot of questions about the role that media play uh, in prompting these disorders by um, ordering, you know, by presenting bodies in certain ways and creating certain ideas about desirability. So um, I thought, uh, that it would be interesting to ask a very simple question, which is if you look at particular media sources, is it true to say, to what extent is it true to say that eating disorders are blamed on media? 
you know, is, is do the news media do a lot of stories about how eating disorders are prompted by the way that certain kinds of media represent certain kinds of bodies. So I've put this in here. And then what we will see is we've got a few resources here. What's well, a few ways of um, of collecting these uh, collecting these resources? And I suppose kind of um, one of the first things to to point out to is you can specify a particular region. Okay, um, so um, you can look for Asian news sources, African news sources. Um, European news sources. Is there a North American? Yes, a North American news source. Um, so one of the obvious things that you can do is look at um, where this where this operates, either in your home nation or in a nation that interests you. Um, but let's go with Australia for right now. So what you would do is you would click on this, and then say we specifically wanted to look just at Australia. We would click that. Remove that, and then we've got just Australia. The second thing that we have to do is we have to look for, uh, we have to specify a, a time period. Uh, for the sake of argument, let's say the last year. Okay, so we're going to ask is, so what we're doing here is we're asking a research question. Um, if uh, we look at the last year of Australian media coverage, to what extent is it true that Australian media um, locate the problem of eating disorders somehow in the way that media represent bodies? We're going to get rid of our, our duplicates, okay, so you don't want the same story coming up twice. And then we simply hit search. And when we hit search, basically, because I did this earlier, what we get is this. Now, um, you can see that uh, there's a few things that immediately um, spring, to, uh, spring to mind here. Um, so um, one of the things is if you, if you, kind, of, if you kind of look through these things, uh, you can kind of see a few places where um, media are kind of popping out. So we have Twitter down here. Um, we have Kim Kardashian and celebrity here. We have fashion, body positive model shows off epic curves. Um, so this is an interesting uh, example as well here because what this tells us is, is that um, it may well be that media tell positive stories about the, re the relationship between media and eating disorders. Um, we have again uh, a celebrity sharing his story about uh, bulimia. Uh, so again, the role of celebrity. Um, so very quickly, you can kind of see um, a few things. You can see that um, there are media related stories. Um, here we have kind of, uh, you know, an example of a personal trainer who fat shames someone via social media. Um, but what we can also see is these are not the only things that the media are talking about in relation to uh, in, in relation to the effects of uh, the, the effects of, uh, you know, the things that cause eating disorders. Um, so we can kind of see that there's a really interesting database here that's going to allow us to talk about um, the extent to which media uh, blame other media for eating disorders and the way that they focus on certain sorts of media, social media, celebrity, these sorts of things. Um, I mean, the personal trainer story is an interesting example of how kind of people have a negative impact on each other through social media. But of course, there are many, many stories here. So you've got 687 stories, which is way too many for you to do in this short essay. So if you look over on the left here, You've kind of got a, a, a few things um, that can uh, that can help you out, and I suppose the most obvious thing is you might want to. Um, so there are forty five stories from the Australian Broadcasting Corporation, for example. Um, so what, for example, if we focused on that? What if we just pressed on that? Let's see what would happen. Um, so what we have here is um, a 
uh, a much more kind of um, succinct uh, sample. And what we're saying here is we, we're going to say, well, I'm going to look at how the ABC, as Australia's national broadcaster, has covered um, has covered the issue of eating disorders and the extent to which the ABC has presented eating disorders as um, as being related to how media represent bodies. And again, you can quickly look through this as as, as kind of um, there's something about online forums, there is something about pro-anorexia uh, websites, um, there are government um, uh, campaigns that are anti-obesity, uh, we have social media, um, we also have um, the benefits of social media, Instagram launching tools um, to help users of, of, of at-risk uh, of self-harm. So what we've got is an interesting very, uh, very kind of um, uh, containable uh, um, sample. And so what we could do is we have saved all of those samples and this is the sample that we're going to deal with, okay? So what we've decided is we're gonna deal with stories from the ABC And then what we see is if we go over here, we have a complete list of all of these stories. And so what you can do is you can find a particular way to save these. You could either save this entire um, uh, so then you've got all of these stories saved together and you can save this um, and load it into NVivo to do some analysis. We've saved that. And then we are ready to load that into NVivo and do some analysis. And I will show you how to do that in the next, in a, in a, in a future video. Um, but that's a very quick way of showing you how to do a, a search for a, how the media have covered particular forms of media harm. And, it, and I'm showing you how you can look by country, um, how you can look by complete uh, by data source, um, and how you can use that to collect information for your second project.